The Quran, A Complete Revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans. And were we to send down to them the angels, and the dead to speak to them, and we to gather everything unto them face to face, they would not believe, save if God should will, but most of them are ignorant. And thus we appoint for every prophet an enemy, shaitans of men and jinn, instructing one another in the decoration of speech by deception, and had thy Lord willed, they would not do it. So leave thou them and what they fabricate, and that the hearts of those who believe not in the hereafter might incline thereto and be pleased therewith, and that they might gain what they will gain. Is it other than God I should seek as judge? And he it is who sent down to you the law, set out and detailed. And those whom we gave the law know that it is sent down from thy Lord aright. So be thou not of those who doubt. And perfected are the words of thy Lord in truth and justice. There is none to change his words, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And if thou obey most of those on the earth, they will lead thee far from the path of God. They follow only assumption, and they tell only lies. Thy Lord, he knows best who strays from his way, and he knows best the rightly guided. So eat of that over which the name of God has been remembered, if you believe in his proofs. And why should you not eat of that over which the name of God has been remembered, when he has set out and detailed to you what is forbidden you, save that you be compelled thereto? And many are led astray by their vain desires without knowledge. Thy Lord, he is best aware of the transgressors and leave the outwardness of falsehood and the inwardness thereof. Those who earn falsehood will be rewarded with what they have acquired. And eat not of that over which the name of God has not been remembered, and it is wanton perfidy. And the shaitans instruct their allies to dispute with you, and if you obey them, you are idolaters. Is one who was dead, and whom we gave life, and for whom we appointed a light wherein he walks among men, like one in darkness from which he cannot go out? Thus is made fair to those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue what they do. And thus appoint we in every city its greatest evil doers, that they should scheme therein, and they scheme only against themselves, and they perceive not. And when a proof comes to them, they say, We will not believe until we be given what was given the messengers of God. God knows best where he places his message. There will befall those who are evildoers humiliation before God, and severe punishment for what they schemed. And whom God wills to guide, he expands his breast towards submission. And whom he wills to lead astray, he makes his breast constricted, distressed, as if he were ascending into the sky. Thus does God appoint abomination for those who do not believe. And this is the path of thy Lord, one straight. We have set out and detailed the proofs for people who take heed. They have the abode of peace with their Lord, and he is their ally because of what they did. And the day he gathers them all together, O congregation of jinn, you have taken many among mankind. And their allies among men will say, Our Lord, we benefited one another. But we reached our term which thou deferredst for us. He will say, The fire is your dwelling, you abiding eternally therein, save that God should will. 
thy Lord is wise, knowing. And thus we make the wrongdoers allies of one another by what they have earned. O congregation of jinn and men, came there not to you messengers from among you, narrating to you my proofs and warning you of the meeting of this your day? They will say, We bear witness against ourselves. And the life of this world deceived them. And they will bear witness against themselves that they were those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. That is because thy Lord destroyed not the cities in injustice while their people were unaware, and for all are degrees for what they did. And thy Lord is not unmindful of what they do, and thy Lord is the free from need, the possessor of mercy. If he wills, he will remove you and appoint to succeed after you whom he wills, as he brought you into being from the progeny of other people. That which you are promised is coming, and you cannot escape. Say thou, O my people, work according to your power, I am working, and you will come to know for which of us is the ultimate abode. The wrongdoers are not successful and they make for God of what he sows of tilth and cattle a portion. They say, this is for God, according to their claim, and this is for our partners. And what is for their partners, it does not reach God. And what is for God, it reaches their partners. Evil is what they judge. And thus do their partners make fair to many among the idolaters the killing of their children, that they might bring them to ruin and obfuscate their doctrine for them. And had God willed, they would not do it. So leave thou them and what they fabricate. And they say, These cattle and tilth are taboo, none is to eat them save whom we will, according to their claim, and cattle whose backs are made unlawful, and cattle over which they remember not the name of God as an invention against him, he will requite them for what they invented. And they say, That which is in the bellies of such cattle is exclusively for our males and forbidden our wives, and if it be dead, then are all partners therein. He will requite them for their description. He is wise, knowing. They have lost those who foolishly kill their children without knowledge and make unlawful what God provided them as an invention about God. They have gone astray and are not rightly guided. And he it was who brought into being gardens, trellised and untrellised, and the date palms, and crops diverse in their food, and the olive and the pomegranate, alike and not alike. Eat of the fruit thereof when it bears fruit, and render its due on the day of its harvest, and commit not excess. God loves not the committers of excess, and of the cattle for burden and for skin, eat of what God has provided you, and follow not the footsteps of the shaitan. He is an open enemy to you. Eight pairs of sheep too, and of goats too. Say thou, has he forbidden the two males or the two females? If what the wombs of the two females contain, inform me with knowledge, if you be truthful and of camels too, and of oxen too. Say thou, has he forbidden the two males or the two females? If what the wombs of the two females contain, or if you were witnesses when God enjoined this upon you, then who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about God, that he might lead people astray without knowledge? God guides not the wrongdoing people. Say thou, I find not in what I am instructed anything made unlawful to one who would eat it, save it be carrion or blood poured forth 
or the flesh of swine, and it is abomination, or a wanton perfidy dedicated to other than God. But whoso is forced, neither desiring nor transgressing, thy Lord is forgiving, merciful. And unto those who hold to Judaism, we made unlawful every animal with a claw, and of ox and sheep we made unlawful to them the fat thereof, save what their backs carry, or the entrails, or what is mixed with bone. That we rewarded them for their sectarian zealotry, and we are truthful. And if they reject thee, say thou, your Lord is a Lord of vast mercy, but not repelled is his wrath from the evil-doing people. Those who ascribe a partnership will say, had God so willed, we would not have ascribed a partnership, nor would our fathers, nor would we have made anything unlawful. Thus did those who were before them reject, until they tasted our might. Say thou, have you any knowledge? Then bring it forth for us. You follow only assumption, and you tell only lies. Say thou, then to God belongs the conclusive argument. Had he willed, he would have guided you altogether. Say thou, bring your witnesses who bear witness that God made this unlawful. Then, if they bear witness, then bear thou not witness with them, and follow thou not the vain desires of those who repudiate our proofs, and those who believe not in the hereafter, and ascribe equals to their Lord. Say thou, Come, I will recite to you what your Lord has made unlawful for you, that you ascribe a partnership with him to anything, while towards parents good conduct and kill not your children out of poverty, we will provide for you and for them, and approach not sexual immoralities, whether open or concealed, and kill not the soul which God has made unlawful, save a right, that he enjoined upon you that you might use reason, and approach not the property of the fatherless, save with what is better, until he reach his maturity, and fulfil the measure and the balance with equity. We task not any soul, save to its capacity. And when you speak, be just, though he be a relative, and the pledge of God fulfil. That he commanded you, that you might take heed. And this is my straight path. So follow it. And follow not other ways, for then will you be parted from his way, that he commanded you that you might be in prudent fear. Then gave we to Musa the law, complete for him who does good, and an explanation of everything, and guidance and mercy, that they might believe in the meeting with their Lord. And this is a decree we sent down, one blessed, so follow it, and be in prudent fear, that you might obtain mercy, lest you say, the law was but sent down upon two groups before us, and if we be of their learning unaware, ellipsis, how then can we be blameworthy? To continue, or you say, had there been sent down upon us the law, we would have been better guided than they. And there has come to you clear evidence from your Lord, and guidance, and mercy. Then who is more unjust than he who repudiates the proofs of God and turns away from them? We will reward those who turn away from our proofs with an evil punishment because they turned away. Await they, save that the angels should come to them, or thy Lord should come, or there should come some of the proofs of thy Lord? The day there come some of the proofs of thy Lord, the faith of a soul will benefit it nothing, which has not believed before, nor by its faith earned good. Say thou, wait, we are waiting. Those who divide their doctrine and are sects, thou art not of them in anything. Their affair is but with God, 
then will he inform them of what they did. Whoso brings a good deed, he has tenfold the like thereof. And whoso brings evil, he is not rewarded save with the like thereof, and they will not be wronged. Say thou, as for me, my Lord has guided me to a straight path, a right doctrine, the creed of Ibrahim, inclining to truth, and he was not of the idolaters. Say thou, my duty and my penance and my living and my dying are for God, the Lord of all mankind. He has no partner, and that am I commanded, and I am the first of the submitted. Say thou, is it other than God I should desire as Lord when he is Lord of all things? And every soul earns not save for itself, nor bears there any bearer the burden of another. Then to your Lord is your return. He will inform you of that wherein you differ. And he it is who made you successors of the earth and exalted some of you above others in degree, that he might try you by what he gave you. Thy Lord is swift in retribution, and he is forgiving, merciful. Chapter 7 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, Saad. A decree sent down to thee, so let there be no distress in thy heart therefrom, that thou warn thereby and a reminder to the believers. Follow what has been sent down to you from your Lord, and follow not allies besides him. Little do you take heed. And how many a city did we destroy? There came upon it our might by night, or while they slept at noonday. And their cry when our might came upon them was only that they said, We were wrongdoers. Then we will question those to whom were sent, and we will question the emissaries, and we will recount to them with knowledge, and we were not absent. And the weighing on that day is the truth. Then whose balance is heavy, these are the successful. And whose balance is light, these are they who lose their souls because they wronged our proofs. And we have established you in the earth and made for you therein livelihoods. Little are you grateful. And we have created you. Then have we fashioned you. Then said we to the angels, Submit to Adam. And they submitted, save Iblis. He was not of those who submit. He said, what hinders thee that thou dost not submit when I command thee? Said he, I am better than he. Thou createdst me of fire, and thou createst him of clay. He said, Get thee down therefrom. It is not for thee to be proud therein. Go thou forth, thou art of those brought low. Said he, Grant thou me respite until the day they are raised up. He said, Thou art of those granted respite. Said he, Because thou hast sent me astray, I will lie in wait for them on thy straight path. Then will I come at them from before them, and from behind them, and from their right hand, and from their left hand, and thou wilt not find most of them grateful. He said, Go thou forth therefrom, condemned, banished. Whoso follows thee from among them, I will fill hell with you altogether. And, O Adam, dwell thou and thy wife of the garden, and eat in what manner you will, but approach not this tree, for you will be among the wrongdoers. The shaitan whispered to them, that he might make manifest to them what was hidden from them of their shame, and said, Your Lord forbade you this tree, only lest you become angels, or of those abiding eternally. And he swore to them, I am to you a sincere counsellor. And he led them by deception. 
Then when they tasted of the tree, their shame was made manifest to them, and they began to draw over them some of the leaves of the garden. And their Lord called to them, Did I not forbid you that tree? And did I not say to you that the shaitan was an open enemy to you? They said, Our Lord, we have wronged our souls, and if thou forgive us not and have not mercy on us, we will be among the losers. He said, Get you down, an enemy to one another, and for you on the earth are place and goods for a time. He said, On it will you live, and on it will you die, and from it will you be brought forth. O children of Adam, we have sent down upon you raiment to hide your shame, and as adornment, but the raiment of prudent fear, that is best. That is among the proofs of God, that they might take heed. O children of Adam, let not the shaitan subject you to means of denial, as he removed your parents from the garden, taking away from them their raiment, that he might make manifest their shame to them. He and his kind see you without you seeing them. We made the shaitans allies of those who do not believe. And when they commit sexual immorality, they say, We found our fathers doing it, and God enjoined it upon us. Say thou, God enjoins not sexual immorality. Do you ascribe to God what you know not? Say thou, My Lord enjoined equity, and that you uphold your countenances at every place of worship, and Call to him, sincere to him in doctrine. As he created you, you are returning. Some he guides, and upon some is misguidance due. They took the shaitans as allies instead of God, and think they are rightly guided. O oh, children of Adam, take your adornment at every place of worship, and eat and drink but commit not excess. God loves not the committers of excess. Say thou, who has made unlawful the adornment of God which he brought forth for his servants, and the good things of provision? Say thou, these are for those who heed warning in the life of this world exclusively on the day of resurrection. Thus do we set out and detail the proofs for people who know. Say thou, My Lord has made unlawful sexual immoralities, whether open or concealed, and falsehood and sectarian zealotry without cause, and that you ascribe a partnership with God to that for which he has not sent down a warrant, and that you ascribe to God what you know not. And for every community is a term then when their term arrives, they will not defer an hour, nor will they advance. O children of Adam, if there come to you messengers from among you, narrating to you my proofs, then whoso is in prudent fear and does right, they need not fear, nor will they regret. But they who repudiate our proofs and are proud towards them, these are the companions of the fire, wherein they abide eternally. And who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about God or repudiates his proofs? These, there reaches them their portion of the law. When our messengers have come to them, they will take them. They will say, Where is that to which you called besides God? They will say they have strayed from us, and they will bear witness against themselves that they were those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. He will say, Enter among the communities that have come and gone before you of jinn and men into the fire. Whenever a community enters, it curses its sister. 
When they have followed one another therein all together, the last of them will say to the first of them, Our Lord, these led us astray, so give thou them double punishment of the fire. He will say, For each is double, but you know not. And the first of them will say to the last of them, You were no better than were we, so taste the punishment for what you earned. Those who repudiate our proofs and are proud towards them, for them the gates of the sky will not be opened, nor will they enter the garden, any more than a twisted rope can pass through the eye of a needle. And thus we requite the evildoers. They have a resting place of hell, and over them are covers. And thus we requite the wrongdoers. And those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, we task not any soul save to its capacity. These are the companions of the garden, wherein they abide eternally. And we remove any rancor from their hearts. There flow beneath them rivers, and they say praise belongs to God who has guided us to this. And we would not have been rightly guided had not God guided us. The messengers of our Lord brought the truth, and they are addressed, That is the garden, whose heirs you are made for what you did. And the companions of the garden call to the companions of the fire, We have found what our Lord promised us true. Have you found what your Lord promised you true? They say, Yea. Then cries a crier between them, The curse of God is upon the wrongdoers. Those who forsake the path of God and would make it crooked and are deniers of the hereafter. And between them is a barrier and upon the elevations are men recognizing each one by their mark. And the companions of the garden call out, Peace be unto you. They have not entered it, but they desire to. And when their eyes are turned towards the companions of the fire, they will say, our Lord, place thou not us with the wrongdoing people. And the companions of the elevations will call to men, recognizing them by their mark. They will say, Did it not suffice you, your accumulating, and that you were proud? Are these they whom you swore God would not reach with mercy? Enter the garden. You need not fear, nor will you regret. And the companions of the fire will call to the companions of the garden, pour forth upon us some water, or some of what God has provided for you. They will say, God has made both unlawful to those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Those who took their doctrine as play and diversion, and whom the life of this world deceived. So this day do we forget them, even as they forgot the meeting of this, their day, and as they rejected our proofs. And we have brought them a decree, which we have set out and detailed according to knowledge, as guidance and mercy for people who believe. Await they save the fulfilment thereof. The day the fulfilment thereof comes, those who had forgotten it before will say, The messengers of our Lord brought the truth. Then have we any intercessors that might intercede for us? Or will we be sent back that we might do other than what we did? They have lost their souls. And straight for them has what they invented. Your Lord is God who created the heavens and the earth in six days, then took his place upon the throne. He covers the night, the day hastening after it constantly, and the sun and the moon and the stars are made serviceable by his command. In truth, to him belong the creation and the command. Blessed be God, the Lord of all mankind. Call to your Lord, humbly and in secret, he loves not the transgressors, so work not corruption in the earth after its right ordering, and call to him in fear and hope. The mercy of God is near to the doers of good.
And he it is who sends the winds as glad tidings at the time of his mercy. When they have gathered up heavy clouds, we drive them to a dead land and send down the water thereby and bring forth therewith every sort of fruit. Thus we bring forth the dead, that you might take heed. And the good land, its vegetation comes forth by permission of its Lord, and what is bad comes not forth save with difficulty. Thus do we expound the proofs for people who are grateful. We sent Noch to his people. He said, O oh my people, serve God. You have no God but he. I fear for you the punishment of a tremendous day. Said the eminent ones among his people, We see thee in obvious error. He said, O oh my people, there is no error in me, but I am a messenger from the Lord of all mankind. I convey to you the messages of my Lord and give sincere counsel to you and know from God what you know not. Do you wonder that there has come to you remembrance from your Lord through a man among you, that he should warn you and that you should be in prudent fear and that you might obtain mercy? And they rejected him. Then we delivered him and those with him in the ship and drowned those who repudiated our proofs. They were a blind people. And to Ad, their brother Hud, he said, O oh my people, serve God, you have no God but he. Will you then not be in prudent fear? Said the eminent ones who were indifferent to warning among his people, we see thee in foolishness, and we consider thee a liar. He said, O oh my people, there is no foolishness in me, but I am a messenger from the Lord of all mankind. I convey to you the messages of my Lord, and I am a sincere counsellor to you, one trustworthy. Do you wonder that there has come to you remembrance from your Lord through a man among you, that he should warn you? And remember when he made you successors after the people of Noch and increased you in extent of creation. Then remember the favours of God that you might be successful. They said, Hast thou come to us that we should serve God, him, alone, and leave what our fathers served? Then bring thou upon us what thou promisest us, if thou be of those who speak the truth. He said, there have come upon you from your Lord abomination and wrath. Do you dispute with me concerning names which you have named, you and your fathers? God sent not down for these any warrant. Then wait, I am with you waiting. And we delivered him and those with him by mercy from us, and we cut off the root of those who repudiated our proofs, and they were not believers. And to Thamud, their brother Salih, he said, O oh my people, serve God. You have no God but he. There has come to you clear evidence from your Lord. This is the she-camel of God as a proof for you. So leave her to feed in God's earth and touch her not with evil, for there will take you a painful punishment. And remember when he made you successes after Ad and settled you in the earth. You make castles out of its plains and hew the mountains into houses. So remember the favours of God and commit not evil in the earth, working corruption. Said the eminent ones who were proud among his people to those they deemed weak, to such as believed among them, Know you that Salih is an emissary from his Lord? They said, We believe in that wherewith he has been sent said those who were proud, We deny that in which you believe. And they brutally slaughtered the she-camel, and they scorned the command of their Lord, and they said, O Salih, bring thou what thou promisest us, if thou be among the emissaries. And the earthquake seized them, and morning found them lying prone in their dwelling. Then he turned from them and said, O my people, I have conveyed to you the message of my Lord, and have been a sincere counsellor to you, but you love not sincere counsellors.
and Lut when he said to his people, Do you commit sexual immorality that none among all mankind has outdone you? You approaching men with lust rather than women? The truth is you are a people committing excess. And the response of his people was only that they said, Turn them out of your city. They are a people who keep themselves pure. And we delivered him and his household, save his wife. She was of those who stay behind. And we rained upon them a rain. And see thou how was the final outcome of the evildoers. And to Madian, their brother Shuaib, he said, O my people, serve God, you have no God but he. There has come to you clear evidence from your Lord, so fulfil the measure and the balance, and deprive not men of their things, and work not corruption in the earth after its right ordering. That is better for you if you be believers. And lie not in wait on every road, You threaten and divert from the path of God, him who has believed in it, and you seek deviation therein. And remember, when you were few, how he multiplied you, and see how was the final outcome of the workers of corruption. And if a number among you believes in that wherewith I have been sent, and a number believes not, be patient until God judges between us and he is the best of judges.